Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to make something different here. Some smoked sticky Asian pork ribs. Let's go. So we got the ingredients laid out here now. We got some ribs, salt, pepper, rice vinegar, sesame oil, soy sauce, honey, crushed red pepper, onion powder, ground ginger, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and brown sugar. And as we always do on this channel, we're going to go ahead and start by patting our ribs completely dry, getting rid of all that solvent that comes in the packages of the ribs on both sides to make sure it's completely dry. And then we'll come back over on the bottom of the ribs here and remove that pesky membrane. It's optional, you can keep it on if you want. I just like a more tender rib, so I go ahead and remove it. Once it's off now, we're gonna go ahead and add our yellow mustard as the binder for our salt and pepper here. Uh, again, completely optional. I just like the pepper and salt to stick on a little better to help absorb into the meat. You won't taste this. Coming over with our salt and pepper mixture now, and we're sprinkling it all over the ribs here not to miss anything. This is just the base seasoning for the smoking portion to allow that smoke to penetrate into the meat. Once we're done seasoning it here, we're going to go ahead and let the meat sit for about 15 to 20 minutes to completely absorb into the meat and get the uh, flavor that we're looking for. All right, putting it on the smoker now at 225 degrees for about the next three hours using our apple wood. And now that it's been about 90 minutes, you can see the color on the bark starting to form in the meat pullback. We're coming over with our apple cider vinegar and giving it a good spray down to prevent the ribs from drying out. And here's an up close shot of that nice mahogany color that I've been looking for from just the salt and the pepper, only from the smoker. All right, while that's continuing to smoke, we're gonna go ahead and make our Asian sticky rub for the wrapping portion of our ribs. You can see the ingredients I have listed out on the screen above. And then once we're added all the ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and give it a solid mix uh, until it's completely mixed. And then pulling our ribs off the smoker, here's what they look like. Great color, great pullback on the bone, which is what I'm looking for. And now we'll go ahead and wrap our ribs with some butter here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our Asian rub here that we just got done making and pack it tightly into the foil to put it back into the oven at 225 degrees for the next two hours. And as that's cooking now, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce here for the ribs once they're done. And I've listed the ingredients on the screen again with the quantity. And now we'll just go ahead and add that all to a mixing bowl. And then once again, once it's all added, we'll go ahead and give it a good mix to make it completely one mixture. And then here's what the ribs look like after they're done being wrapped. So we're gonna go ahead now and pour our sauce over the ribs and rub it all the way in and then put them back in the oven at uh, 225 degrees for about 10 minutes and we'll redo that process one or two times to create them sticky. After they're out of the oven now, we got a nice sticky sauce on them. We're gonna go ahead and cut into them and see how they came out. So we'll cut off this end piece here, but you can see the smoke ring from the smoker there and this rib is nice and tender, but not too tender to just fall off the bone as you pull it up. And that's it. That's how you make some smoked sticky Asian pork rib. Little different than barbecue, but still with a great end result. I'd highly recommend it, giving it a try for something different. Thanks for watching. See ya.